All right, guys, we've been waiting for this one ever since we looked at the Arcadia fifth wheel at the Tampa Super Show. That's right. The Arcadia travel trailer is here, and we're going to give you a first look. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Home on the Hitch, guys. Glad to have you here real quick. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. You don't want to miss content like this. So we've got an email tonight from Dustin and Christy over at Keystone. Uh, <clears throat> the ones that are doing the Arcadia fifth wheels that we looked at in Tampa. The Arcadia Travel Trailer uh, 370 is about to be announced next week. So we got... A first look at it for you guys uh, they have this stuff out to the trade press that's not going out until Monday uh, so we are gonna look around it first and who better to give a video tour of the new Arcadia 370 travel trailer than the head of the Arcadia design team Dustin so let's look at that Hi, my name is Dustin Tavernier, and I'm the product manager for the Arcadia product line at Keystone RV. And I'm here today to introduce you for the very first time to the Arcadia Travel Trailer. Really, I wanted to start with the foundation of Arcadia, which was a couple of things. One, our next generation chassis, of which we will talk about. And secondly, our front caps and the design of the unit to provide you with maximum space on the inside. So with that being said, the Arcadia travel trailer, we have a three quarter uh, cap with diamond plates. So each of your travel trailers will be um, designed just like this and look just like this. The major part of this is the stance of the unit or the way the top of the unit comes up and over and provides you with something very unique. And as I mentioned, the unique part of that is really going to be felt on the inside as well. So um, as a Arcadia owner, you're going to find that one, your unit looks entirely different and certainly feels entirely different, whether that be a travel trailer that I'm showing you today or one of our fifth wheels and the fact that we designed so that your master bedroom or the front of every unit has additional ceiling height all the way to the front of that unit. As we come around, I wanted to point out the fact um, that we're using a high gloss uh, sidewall on this. So yeah, your laminated sidewall is, has got a very nice look to it. The automotive design of our graphics, really a nice clean and sleek look. Um, as you come around this side too, I wanted to point out our convenience center. So all of your um, fresh water, your gray tanks and so on, all located within a centralized area, including your level up. So again, something you don't typically find in a, in a travel trailer, especially at this price point. So definitely wanted to point that out. This is something different too. This is a laminated sidewall on our slide room. So all of the Arcadia slide rooms are built with that particular construction something that really no one else is doing here at Keystone, and we're excited to bring that to you um, with your Arcadia. Um, as we've walked around and, and talked about this, again, maximizing storage, underneath our king bed, as you can see on the outside, we have created a, a beautiful storage spot for you here, all uh, really paneled off, decorated. You've got your linoleum, so a very functional and large space on the outside of the unit for you to store anything that you need. Um, as we head back to this uh, side of the unit, um, you've got your, a couple of appliances on this side. Again, the laminated sidewalls. Um, and then let me show you this storage spot back here as well. Uh, this is just on the other side of your entertainment center. So on the back side of this would be your TV and your fireplace. We wanted to utilize that space, so we've created some additional out here with a pegboard, um, you could hang tools, uh, your hoses, that type of stuff. So again, as we 
uh, wanted to provide you with all the function that we possibly could. As we come around to the back of the Arcadia travel trailer, I definitely wanted to point out the fact that uh, we do have a rear ladder. So uh, that allows you access up onto the roof for you to do any sort of maintenance, uh, take a peek, uh, but very convenient for you. Um, again, as we've talked about all the laminated sidewalls, so you have a laminated rear wall on all of your Arcadias, which um, one, has a great look to it. Secondly, just an additional um, layer of insulation, really. So um, wanted to point that out. Again, your, your nice automotive look, uh, not graphic out so crazily. Uh, so really, really looking solid as you come around. And then we're gonna feature all LED lights on the back of the Arcadia. You can see the little bullet lights, uh, which are a little something different. And then all of your Arcadias, whether fifth wheel or travel trailer, prepped for a rear camera or anything that you may wanna add uh, on the back end of that. As we come around to the side of the Arcadia Travel Trail, I wanted to point out the fact that we do have uh, key TV on all of your Arcadias. So out here we've got your satellite and um, cable TV hook-ins. Um, key TV then allows you to spread that signal uh, really seamlessly. And then you can see we've got an electrical outlet back here as well. Um, all the Arcadia Travel Trailers will have a ground control leveling system that you can see um, right here kind of in the middle of the unit and then up front um, with the scissors coming down. And then all of your Arcadias um, are gonna be featured with a Kurt uh, axle and also a Kurt suspension system. Um, again, that is exclusive right now to Arcadia uh, and something we wanna to continue to point out. And you'll be able to see some videos on Kurt specific products um, as you look through your Arcadia website. Um, with that said, um, of course, a solid step entry as you go into any of your Arcadias. And here on the travel trailers, you can see with the extra large grab handle. So with that said, why don't we head on inside and I can introduce you to the inside of the Arcadia travel trailer. Welcome to the inside of the Arcadia 370 travel trailer. I really wanted to introduce you to the kitchen. Um, we're really uh, excited to introduce one, um, the white cabinetry, two, an abundant amount of storage, uh, and of course our island. So let me just lead you around here a little bit. One of the big directives we wanted to uh, provide to you with Arcadia is a very residential look and feel. So with that, as you can see um, in our hutch here, um, our cabinet doors, uh, you're seeing meeting just like you might at your home. As you open these up, uh, just a ton of storage here in the overhead. Um, again, all clean inside as far as the cabinetry and the, and the way we're trimming that out with the decorative uh, piece underneath the cabinet. Um, of course, a backsplash on this hutch. Uh, again, providing you additional space, whether you're needing that for food prep, uh, maybe a, a coffee machine. As you can see, we've got some fruit displayed here. Um, Great storage here with a couple of drawers. Um, also a nice little angled, very large door for you to put. As you can see here, we've uh, popped some towels and some cleaning items in here. As we come through uh, and take a look at this slide in the, in the kitchen area, uh, we do have a refrigerator with a decorative uh, wood front. Um, up top, I definitely wanted to point out the fact that we have a spice rack for you, uh, pretty convenient, a wine rack, and then of course, uh, a couple of your appliances. We've got four additional drawers uh, for you, and then also a large drawer underneath um, your oven. One thing I wanted to point out too, this entire slide, this galley slide, is what we're calling a flush floor slide. We've not done a lot of that at Keystone. Um, Arcadia is in fact one of the brands leading the way on doing so. So really what that creates is a nice, fairly level space for you so a very comfortable space to cook in and function in as you're prepping food and, and entertaining. Um, let's talk about the island for a second. This is something very exciting for us. Um, one, we went with a farmhouse sink. You've got a solid surface countertop um, in all of your Arcadias. You can see we've added a couple of additional um, small little flip up tables for you. So one, we've got just an extension on the countertop. And then this um, flip up table is something that we're looking to have available to you, whether that be uh, the possibility of additional food or additional uh, chairs in for someone to eat. We're also looking at that as a potential workstation. So uh, with that being said, uh, pretty easy to function up and down. We've got electric and we've got also your USB ports. 
Uh, but it's as simple as just grabbing one of your dinette chairs, flipping that around, and you've created, whether it's additional dining, uh, a workspace, and you've also created the opportunity to be a part of the, the entertainment area, of which I'm going to introduce you to here in just a couple of seconds. So the island itself, along with this entire kitchen, we really were thinking about you. Uh, I also wanted to introduce you to our pantry. We're um, excited to offer a couple of adjustable shelves. You've got a motion light. And then in our pantry, we've got a solid countertop here, really um, also with some electric, really looking to whether that's a Keurig machine or maybe your blender, uh, but wanted to offer that as a very nice feature for you. And then a couple of drawers on the bottom to complete that. And then as you can see here on both sides, we've got a chalkboard uh, material that will allow you to uh, write notes, maybe your grocery list or your to-do list for the day. So um, hopefully you are seeing a ton of value in this Arcadia 370 Travel Trailer kitchen. It's really jam-packed with storage, jam-packed with function, and obviously a really, really nice looking space. So as you come to the back of the unit, um, you can see here we do offer the theater seating. Uh, the theater seating includes heat, massage, and you've got um, really a couple of options to charge. I've got a wireless charger going here. And then on the inside, um, you've got USB ports. So very much a functional theater seat. And of course, that's facing your, your TV. In the rear of the unit, um, this is something very exciting. This is actually a 92-inch wide trifold sofa. So it's the widest trifold sofa that you can actually get. So with that said, huge sleeping service, and then ob obviously a large uh, lounging surface back here, again, in, within the entertainment center. Um, one thing to point out in the Arcadia interiors, we are building each of our units with Roman shades, something really different. In fact, we're the first group here at Keystone to have the Roman shades. So one, a very nice look um, and really, really easy to function as you can see. Um, in all of our Arcades so far, we do have an angled uh, rear overhead storage. So very nice for you to store stuff up and out of the way. And again, this is really just a ton of space back here for you to, uh, to be entertained and then obviously to be a part of um, the kitchen area as well. As we head over to the, really the base of the entertainment center, which is going to be uh, your fireplace, your TV, and then your stereo. I wanted to introduce you to that to a little bit. So these are Jensen Electronics. Um, the Jensen unit itself has three different zones. So you have the ability to control in here, watch a movie. You can also have entertainment outside. Uh, and then even in your bedroom, if you'd like to, to add a speaker to that. Um, as you can see, the fireplace down below, um, and then a couple of storage doors overhead here. Uh, and one awesome thing, again, we wanted to take advantage of as much storage space as possible. So just under our TV, you can see we've got a hidden storage area. Um, again, the ability for you to just pack whatever you need. This truly gets stuff um, up, out of the way, out of sight, and really allows for maximum space uh, entertaining in your kitchen and in the whole rear lounge of the Arcadia. As we finish in the, the rear lounge portion of the Arcadia 370 Travel Trailer, I wanted to point out just a couple of things. One, I mentioned the galley having a flush slide. This is also a flush floor slide um, on the door side. And I wanted to point out, one, the width of the slide and also the height of the slide. The, again, this is a travel trailer, but feels much like a larger or a mid-profile fifth wheel back end when it comes to that. So um, Arcadia, again, wanting to maximize as much as we possibly could um, leaving you plenty of space for, for your seating, for your entertainment area, and then also your dining. You can see I've got a ton of space here to, to, to really enjoy. And then as we talked about, to kind of flip around into your kitchen or to the uh, utility space right behind here. So again, utilizing, making this thing as big and large and taking up and providing you with as much living space as possible. Welcome inside the bathroom of the 370 travel trailer. Um, I wanted to one point out the fact that we do have a slider or a barn door here versus a, a latch door that might swing out into the, uh, the hallway. So this makes it much more efficient, but uh, saving space basically. Um, also with the Arcadia, we continued um, utilizing the decorative wall. Uh, you've got a nice vanity mirror and then some, some great storage as you come around the corner here, we've got 
some fantastic linen storage for towels, for your toiletries, um, all shut off with a door, and then a great shower area with a, with a glass door as well. The Arcadia Travel Trailer features some nice glass doors. You've got three doors uh, sliding in here, very comfortable. As you can see, I've got plenty of height with the uh, skylight, and then we've featured this with some, uh, some black as far as the appliance color to really give you some nice contrast. And then, as you can see in this shower, plenty of storage spots for shampoos and soaps and so on. So again, as you walk in, plenty of linen space as we showed you. Um, great space within the shower and a lot of elbow room, uh, certainly with that barn door and that slider door, really nothing is impeding in this room. So again, utilizing as much space as possible. Welcome to the Arcadia 370 Master Suite. Um, one, I wanted to point out the fact, as soon as you walk in, you really feel, um, one, the height of the unit. We talked about that a little bit on the outside with the whole stance of the Arcadia and what we wanted to do in all of the master bedrooms was really give you a, a great amount of height uh, on the interior so that you really feel, again, more residential, more comfortable, just a, just a huge amount of space. Two, um, in here, we went ahead and utilized our California King bed in a travel trailer. So we're able to do that, um, give you an enormous amount of sleeping space. Um, and then also underneath that California King, I wanna point out just a couple of things. I've got actually four drawers. So I've got two um, smaller depth drawers, but very wide on top of two very large storage drawers, whether that be um, blankets for your bedding. Uh, within the bedroom also, we wanted to create another closet slash wardrobe for probably going to be a his as much as anything, as I'll show you shortly, the walk-in closet might end up being a his and hers setup. Um, as you head in as well, we do have uh, a backer. Uh, so everything is prepped and ready for you to, to bring a TV in and mount that. We've got some additional cabinet space here for, uh, for storage. So I wanted to point out in the travel trailer, um, also our hidden storage. So this is something again, that we've carried on from our fifth wheel lineup to our travel trailer lineup. As you head into the bedroom, I've made my way all the way back to the walk-in closet, but you've had storage throughout as we make our way back. So clearly as you open these barn doors and take a look, we've got a, a, a nice closet. We've got an upper shelf hanging rod. Um, this is something Again, maximizing space. Wanted to make sure that we are providing you the ultimate um, when it comes to closet space. With that said, I also wanted to point something out. As we continue production, we wanted to address and provide a table really that's very friendly for a CPAP machine. So we've done so. And then I have two shelves underneath. One could be possibly an iPhone storage. Um, and then some of just maybe a wallet, that type of stuff, but perfect for charging, for CPAP machines, for any storage you might need. With the introduction of our travel trailers, I wanted to ensure you that we are using a, an amazing technology, our NG3 chassis that we've talked about um, and you may have seen on our website. So on our travel trailers, we are using that very same frame. So it's very revolutionary. This is something that is, is patented to Keystone and to the Arcadia. So we're taking that chassis, really the foundation of your unit. Uh, we've created a crawl space that allows for additional insulation. It allows for us to run your plumbing lines, your electrical lines, all of your heat ducts through a very targeted area, uh, which keeps everything in a heated compartment, basically. We've got your hyperduct flooring, which has some insulation value, and then we pack some insulation and create what we're calling this crawl space. So I wanted to ensure you that with the introduction of our travel trailer, that you're getting all of the innovations uh, that come with that NGC chassis. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Absolutely stunning travel trailer. Cannot wait to get in one. Uh, and as soon as we do, we'll make sure we have that video out for you guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description below uh, to the travel trailer link on Keystone site. But as of right now, it really hasn't been released. So there's not a whole lot of specs as far as weight and everything on there. Uh, but that should be coming soon. Uh, all right, guys. So that's going to do it for this video tonight. I uh, hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the Arcadia 370 travel trailer. 
Uh, until next time, take care of each other, love each other, make every moment count, guys. See you next time.